So for today's video, as if you can't already tell by the title or the bits, I'm going to be showing you guys how to create this glam dead bride look. I know for like Halloween a lot of people don't like to dress up, like they like to just like, you know, like focus it like really on their face and then do like the most simplest outfits. So like that's why I chose this because like you can spend a little bit more time on your face and then throw on a white dress. And literally find a veil at the dollar store and call it a day. Like you really don't need to spend a lot of money on, like on your outfit and stuff. Because I was never one of those like that type of person to like spend a lot of money on outfits. Like my senior year of high school, I remember I was a frat boy for Halloween. Like me and my friends were literally frat boys. But yeah, if you like, I actually really really like how it came out. I was inspired by this girl on Instagram. Her name is Makeup by Karina Reina. This is the picture of it. Like, ugh, it came out so good. But yeah, I was inspired. I saw her picture and I was like, let me be a dead bride. So, here I am. This is how it came out. And if you guys want to see how to create this look, then just keep on watching. Hello, guys. So I'm first going to be starting off with this tan shade from like the Morphe 35L palette. And I'm just going to be focusing this in my crease and just blending it out side to side using windshield wiper motions. I'm going to be fanning it out just to create more of a cat eye effect and just help all the eyeshadows just like blend in easier. So I'm just going to be doing that, blend, blend, blend. And then I'm also going to be focusing it on the inner part of the eye towards the bridge of the nose. Next, I'm taking this like more reddish brown color and then doing the same motions that I did with the past color in the crease. I was a little harsh. I could have been softer. Fan it out and then focus it on the inner corner. Next, I'm going to be taking the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in Bitten. It is a beautiful burgundy shade, and I'm going to be focusing this one more on the inner of the corner of the eye just to create more of a hollow effect. And then, same thing as the other two, blend, fan, blend, fan. Next, I'm taking some of my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer, and then just slightly cut cutting the crease. Nothing too dramatic, nothing too serious, you know, just cutting the crease. I'm now going to be picking up this sparkly, sparkly, sparkly shade from the same palette. It's a really, really pretty color. And just patting this onto the lid. I'm going to use a pass brush and then just blend out the edges so it's all seamlessly blended. I'm going to pop on some wispies into the other eye and then I'm back. Look, I am. Um, I picked up this, like, scar putty from literally Party City. And, you know, it was interesting to use. As you can see, just watch. Ugh, it felt so nasty to touch. Like, it was gross. And it really gave me a hard time. Look at me, I dropped it. So I'm just going to be putting this in a circle on the forehead. Cute. And then I'm going to be taking my fingers, and then I'm going to be blending out the edges slightly just to, like, again, help blend them out into the skin. But it really felt so disgusting. Like, it was gross. It was literally disgusting to touch. But, yeah, just blend out the edges. I then made the mistake of picking up a big brush, literally it was my Morphe contour brush, and I pushed it in and when I pulled it out it literally pulled off product, like look at that, I was pissed. Um, but I just got a smaller brush and I really just like focused it and like in the center and like twirled it around and create like the hole for like the quote unquote bullet hole. And then I went back in with my fingers and just started blending out the edges more and more. I picked up some random like, this is where like my stippling sponge was, and I just like cleaned up the edges and it helped a lot instead of just using my fingers i'm then going to be taking my favorite primer at the moment this is the milani prime light it's like a great primer and it gives you like a strobing effect because you know it is halloween and i'm gonna be dead but you want your makeup to stay on right i'm then mixing my l'oreal infallible and then the um the la girl white foundation i started off by taking the one that's my skin tone but it's a little lighter because remember we have to look dead dead people don't have full color so i look a little pale and I'm just going to blend that in with my beauty blender. I'm tired. I'm cleaning up the edges of the eyeshadow wall as well. Just because, you know, when we died, we would still be, like, we were snatched. I'm then going to pick up some of the white foundation and just bring it down my neck. And then some parts of my faces. I didn't want to mix the two because I didn't want it just to be lighter. Like, I wanted to look ghostly like pale in some parts of my face not the whole face because i didn't want to look just weird just want like recently dead you know not fully like 
How do I say this? I sound dumb. Never mind. I'm just going to bring that onto my shoulders and then I can, just, like, again, just remove some of the color from my skin. <laughs> I tried blending it out with a beauty blender, but that just wasn't working out. So I just took, like, a flat, like, a kabuki brush and I just blended it out so much easier. Uh, I realized I was a little too pale, so I just went back in with some of the inf um, the infallible pro glow, and I just blend that into my skin. I'm then just taking the Too Faced Four in this face setting powder, and I'm just gonna be using this to set my face. Look at how powdery that is! Like it is such a finely milled powder. Like it, like it was everywhere, but it made my skin look flawless. I liked it. Liked it. I'm then taking the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Black Beat and then just lining my waterline. My eye, my, like, my eyes are really, like, bipolar. Like, they're either not sensitive at all ever, and then, like, there's random ass points where they're sensitive. Well, like this one right now. Like, this sh burned. Like, it burned, and I don't know why. I'm then gonna take the Makeup Geek Eyeshadow in the color Vintage, and I'm just gonna put in this, like, throaty hollow of my eye, like, and I was shook at how realistic it looked like. Watch shook but i'm just gonna blend this out and like i said you know create hollow and just make it look like we're dead the duh i'm gonna bring it into the corners of my mouth and then blend it out with my finger i really like the effect that did like putting it in with the brush and then blending it out the finger kind of gave it more like of a rough realistic feel i feel and then i'm taking that and i'm gonna contouring my cheeks and the reason i used like a small blending brush was one because i was too lazy to get up to get another one and like it also gave it more like of a detailed look to make my face look very hollow well not very hollow more hollow than if i just used like a, a bigger brush if you know what i mean so i'm just gonna do that i also applied it to my forehead and then i brought it down to my neck i don't know why but i did and then again like i blended it out brought it to my shoulder gave me some bruising here and there and then i brought it to my collarbones i really like the effect that did too Take in mind, every time I did something, like, I looked in the mirror and, like, I was feeling myself for some odd reason. Like, I'm over here looking deadly. But then I went back in with Bitten and then brought that under my eyes. And, you know, yeah. It gives it kind of more, like, I feel like I'm repeating myself. A deadly feel. But then I'm going to go back in with a black and then just blend those two together. Because, like I said, I was snatched before I did. I'm going to go in with my Maybelline Lash Stiletto Mascara and just go on my, to my lower lashes. I'm then taking my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer on a Morphe contour brush. I don't remember the number. Sorry, I'll put everything in the description box. And I'm just going to contour my face like I usually do, just a little softer, you know, not that, not that extra. I'm taking the same color we took on our lid, and I'm just going to be popping that, popping that into the inner corner to brighten up the eye look just a wee bit. I'm then taking this random doe foot applicator and then I'm going back in with black bean and then we're going to just put it in the center of the bullet hole just to create depth and dimension and you know just trying to make it as realistic as we can. I'm not an S like like a special effects person. I'm just not that like ask me to be your face. I can't do that. I'm taking this random little like palette I got from the party city and I'm just going to be mixing like the red and the black with my finger into the quote-unquote bullet hole just to make it look bloody and like as real as I possibly can like I said I'm not this type like I don't know how to do this stuff so I just kind of wung it I just went in with a uh, makeup geek bitten again just to help set the creams and like I really like the burgundy color so I like I liked how it looked so I'm just gonna do that I'm just gonna take some Milani Luminosa because dead or not You'll catch me wearing this blush. I love this blush. Like, you guys really should get it. I'm then going to take one of the NYX... I don't know what these are called, but it's just like a liquid lipstick. And this one's in the shade Vintage. It's a really nice... Like, it's burgundy, but it's not too, too dark. And then I'm going to go back with the same little random palette from Party City. And then a stipple sponge. And I'm just going to be stippling the side of my lip just to look like I got busted <laughs> in the lip. I don't know by who, but I did. And now I kind of like fast forwarded this part because I literally did the same thing I did to my head. I just put a little um, a little bit of that scar putty, blended it in with my fingers, got a random cardboard, made a line through it, and then just started deeping it up with um, black cream, red cream, and then just like the burgundy eyeshadow. And you'll see that. Here I go with the eyeshadow. Blending, blending, blending away. I 
I just went back and stippled some red just to make it look like blood. You know, I tried. Then I got this fake blood, also from Party City. And then I'm just, I was really surprised by this. It was like a straight up like gelatin. Like I was really grossed out by the concept and like the consistency of it. See? <laughs> but I just went and I tried to make a dripping effect just to make it look like my, I was literally dripping blood. But it was really hard because it was like not as liquidy. So I had to take my time. So here I am doing that. So I kind of just like placed my head back and just like let it drip and then drag it down a little. I put some on the side of my lip, like I said, busted lip. And then I just dabbed it with my finger. After, I don't think I show it though. And then this part is when I messed up. Like I tried doing it and it, like as you can see, like you see the red under. You just have to take your time and be really careful. So I just tried dripping it, dragged it out a little and then blended it in with my finger again. I also then just went to my cut on my chest make it bloody i feel like blood really just covers up your horrible color shading like mine <laughs> so i just kept doing that and then i stippled it a little and then i just started stippling the rest of my body like i went off and my fingers and everything like it was weird but you know i liked it so yeah guys that is the end of the video i really hope you guys liked it and i'll see you guys in my next one bye guys bye